What do you think of Goodman vs. Timstar Furnaces? Goodman's standard efficiency furnaces have an 80% AFUE. Their best ones are 95%. I thought AFUE ratings only went up to 100. So it is not possible to get much more than 95%. The highest efficiency Goodman furnace is the GMVC95. It has two stages, a variable speed motor, comfort net controls and 95% efficiency. The comfort net communication network is supposed to improve or coordinate the heating and cooling in the home. The GMVC95 even has a built-in dehumidifier. Unfortunately, all these features do not save the control board from going out regularly at around $500 a pop. You do not have a very good opinion of Goodman. Goodman is only good for the HVAC repair man who installs it so he is guaranteed work a few times a year to fix it. Yet it is in a lot of new homes. Home builders cut so many corners that they ended up putting toxic Chinese drywall in a lot of homes. What's a furnace that breaks after a year or two compared to that? What is your opinion of Tempstar? Tempstar reminds me of WordStar, something rarely used because it is a minimal version of a common application. The author of Game of Thrones writes all his books in WordStar. The books and the TV show are good despite the software he uses, not because of it. Tempstar furnaces get three bad reviews for every two good ones, when average is a one-to-one -one ratio. So Tempstar is worse than average. True, which put it on part with Goodman. What's wrong with Tempstar in particular? They break down even a few weeks after you've installed a new unit. The control boards, heat exchangers and even the injectors break. So what should I do? Get a brand other than the two you are looking into.